Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena for those of you who are new here. Um, today I'm doing a kind of quick talk through, get ready with me, just me rambling on things that just come to my mind. Um, I'm dressed like a camper because I'm going out into the woods. Um, pray for me, I'm going out into the woods today. So this was just kind of like a quick makeup look, nothing too serious, no falsies on, I just have mascara. So yeah, if you guys want to see what this video entails, keep watching. Okay, so let's start this and get ready with me. So I'm going to start with my eyes. So this is a palette. I've seen it like a thousand times. It's one of those, like, I've always seen it on the internet. I was like, hmm, I've always wanted to try it. And then they came to Ulta and I was like, okay, so now I have like no excuse not to try it. It's within my reach. I can go out and buy it. It's right there. I can swatch it. I know it's good. So let's take a risk. So it's the Juvia's Place. And this is... Um, the Nubian Palette 2. So, this one, well, if you guys don't know, I'll just read the back. So, Nubia, um, uh, Juvia, excuse me, Juvia's Place, they're expi inspired by African Empire in Old Egypt, headed by the beauty icon Nefertiti. So, there are 12 colors in this palette, um, some metallic shades and then pops of color. So, um, let's open it up and see. So, took the plastic off, and I love that the Nefertiti is right here, just letting you know she's queen, she reigns supreme. And then the pan sizes, I love this, they're so big. So we have about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shimmers, and then four mattes. Yeah, that's perfect. So today, I think I'm going to do something kind of neutral bronzy look um i'm going somewhere but it's not like a i don't need to be like over the top it's just a simple like oh, okay she's cute a simple be it it doesn't need to be over the top so i can definitely like i love orange for like transition colors oops um jezebel even the names i love these cleopatra i'm obsessed with blue eyeshadows right now i'll save that for another day um this green egypt let's just swatch one of these Let's watch Egypt. I'm interested in this green. I think I've ever worn green eyeshadow. Ooh, honey. Look at this. Zam. And it's like creamy too. Wow. Okay, I love this. So let me go ahead and wipe this off my arm. Actually, I just made it worse. I made it worse. Okay, so let's start with my eyes. I'm going to take this NARS Radiant Concealer and just pop that right on my lids. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just kind of rushing this now because my ride's like, I'm on the way. <laughs> uh, so no rush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this concealer. And so sticking with my neutral kind of brown theme, I'm going to go ahead and start with um, let's do Madagascar, this tannish brown um, in the corner, right there. You see that? Madagascar. So I'm going to take this deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques, this one, Old Faithful, and just dab that in there a few times. And there's a lot of product on there just from dabbing it like three, four times. So do that. This is a nice nude, like you can't even tell. Can't even tell it's on my eyelid. I like that. Okay. Okay, so now I have that over my entire eye. I started in the crease and then just brought it forward. Let's go ahead with Kenya. And it's this darker brown down here. I'm going to take um, still the same brush and just apply Kenya in the crease. And Kenya looks like it may be a dark brown, but it's slightly purple. Okay, let's see. Oh. Yeah, this one's really brown. You all see that? Yeah. Alright, I love Kenya. Do, 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 do. Okay, so for my crease brush for real, if you guys can see my dog right now, he's on my bed and he's looking through the blinds, but he's standing up in the blinds, so he... <laughs> like twisted in the blinds right now 
Um, let's take Morocco. I think I have a smaller crease brush. If not, that's okay. Mm. Actually, no. I'm going to go in with this. Let me use my concealer brush, the same one that I just used. Oh, well. So, it's the, um, Real Techniques is a concealer brush, but I'm just going to use it to apply the orange kind of transition shape. I like that this orange isn't too, too bright. It's like, you know, made to be a transition. It doesn't have to like be all bold and make a statement. So I do appreciate that. Perfect, perfect. TT, can you go to sit down? All right, and then for the front of my eye, I think I'm gonna take this concealer again and just go to about halfway, like right there. Like meet the orange that we just did. Go a little like half moon. You guys can see that. I'll just bring you guys in. There you go. So, like right here. Then I'm going to take that same concealer brush, kind of like wipe it off, get all the product off, um, and just pat that concealer dry. Since I am pressed for time, um, if not, I would have let it sit, but since we got places to go. Okay, now I'm going to take this Real Techniques. It's the ooh, what is this? base shadow brush, and I'm going to take, hmm, let's take, yeah, yeah, Y-A-A, I hope I'm saying that right. So this shade right here, it's like a kind of goldish metallic, so. Yeah, it's actually more like copper, actually. Ooh, and it transfers so well. Look at that. You see that? So I'm just going to tap that right on the front, on top of that concealer. You see that? Wow, well, that's a lot of product. Hmm. I like it. Alright, and then just to blend it in again, or make it blend well, I'm going to take Morocco and Madagascar back behind it to make it blend in a little better. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera and come back to you guys. So I've finished my eyes, I've even gone ahead and did my brows and foundation for the sake of time, but just to make my eyes pop a little bit more since I'm not going to be wearing lashes, um, I'm going to take this black coal liner and just um, line my waterline. Um, and let me bring this closer. So I like to start from the back. I don't really go like really towards the inner corner just because my eyes get watery and then you know you get that like black stuff right there so I don't want that. So just the latter part of my waterline or I guess lash line. Really, just to give it a little bit of a little cinch. All right, that's all I'm doing. So then I'm also going to take this. I don't know where I got this from, but this has been like a lifesaver. It's like a little highlighting stick. Beauty for real. It's a shadow stick. So I always just take this, and this is a shade. Was this Midnight Marathon? This is a little like shadow stick and I just apply it in my inner corner for like a little highlight. So I just like to go like that. And it like brightens your look like 10 times more. So I love that. Okay, so no lashes today. So I am going to take my trusty Milk Kush Mascara and just begin applying that bad boy. <laughs> And I really like this mascara, like, makes my lashes look very voluminous. Um, I don't know, I don't think I have the longest eyelashes, but this makes it look really, like, long and full. So I do really appreciate that. But I mean, honestly, wearing falsies every day is, as much as I would love to, the time and, like, the energy for it, I don't have it every day. So you'll usually catch me wearing falsies on the weekends. Like Friday and Saturday. Sunday, um, no. 
Sunday usually like no makeup, just skincare. Or um, I got the what is that? That Glossier uh, face paint, face tint, skin tint. That's what it is. So yeah, lately I've been rocking that, and I don't really feel like doing a beat down on my face. Okay, so I did that. Also got mascara on my nose. Take that off, and I'm going to do a little contouring. Nothing too, too crazy. Let me see. Uh, can I take that off? I did. Okay. So I have this contour stick from NYX. And I only, only use the darker side because the highlight is like way too light for me. Oh! Oh, there's the highlight. It was in here. <laughs> but anyways, I don't like using the highlight. So I'm just going to go ahead with the darker end. You see it's almost out too. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna go a little right here, and then my cheeks, and a little on my jawline, too. That may have been the end of that. Aw. I really like that stuff. And I have, do I have my brush in here? I do. Again, real techniques. So this is the sculpting brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in a little bit. Don't forget your jawline. I've definitely walked out like running late for work and forgot to blend in <laughs> one side of my chin. So I was wondering why people were like looking at me crazy on the metro. And it's like, oh, you have a dark streak just on your jawline. Nope. Didn't even bother to blend it in, you know? No big deal. So now that I've finished that, um, let's take this Note Cosmetics blush. And it's this pretty little pink. Maybe you guys can see that. There you go. It's like a pinky peach and this is called oh oops this is called desert rose okay so I'm just gonna dab that a little bit on my cheek okay so now that desert rose is there we are going to highlight and I got this morphe highlighter it's the mirage high impact Highlighter Illuminator. Another one of my Trip to Ulta pickups. And this color is very, 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 very pigmented. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Again, just a little bit of shine. Nothing too, nothing too, too bad. Right there. I'm going to do the tip of my nose. I'm not going to go all the way up my entire bridge. Just because I'm wearing my glasses today. Um... I don't want to add more product to my to my glasses. I'm gonna do the top of my lip, and I think actually no. Let me just use my setting spray. And so this is the Mac Fix Plus, and this is the matte one. So I'm gonna shake that and do a little squirt. And just let that dry for a little bit. What's wrong, Ty? What's wrong, Ty? And let me throw on a gloss and I will come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, so since I've changed my outfit, took my hair out, let's go ahead and apply the lips and that'll be our final touch. So I am using the, I believe this is Molasses um, lip liner from Sephora. I should know this. Yes, Molasses. I wear this all the time. So I'm going to take my lashes and just line my lips. So just a quick little lip line. And then I'm going to take Spanish Fly by MAC. And I love that it has kind of like an iridescent like kind of sheen to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. See how there's some of like kind of blue like to it? Y'all see that? Alright, and that completes this Get Ready With Me featuring this Juvia's Place, uh, what's Nubian 2, I believe? Yes, Nubian 2 palette. So if you guys want to see more like Get Ready With Me, it's me kind of rushing through things and, you know, procrastinating, just getting ready late on time. Um, if you guys just want to see more I don't know, just anything you want to see, for real. Um, just leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.